Usually, um, to prepare for a role, I will dress in the wardrobe of that character for a good <laughs> month before we start recording. <laughs> Just, you know, to like really feel what it is to be that character. Um, it was kind of hard for Les because her dress kept falling down. It was weird. But, um... <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, no, it's just different, you know, you, you do research on the internet, you'll watch the show in Japanese, um, and you trust your director to, like, let you know what's going on. Yeah, um, pretty much what she said. Uh, you can watch some, you know, fan subs, you can try and do some research on the show or on the characters, um, ask a lot of questions. Questions are always good, and if it's a... a a kind of a hard voice to get into sometimes before <laughs> in the car on the way to the studio and you'll run a couple of lines and or you'll sing like wicked or something to, like warm up your voice <laughs> i mean you, you can sing wicked i've never heard of you travis is popular in the car yeah. he does yeah popular <laughs> i'm gonna be popular <laughs> There's more to it than that. I'm not doing it! <laughs> um, I would uh, just um, think like a, a robot dog. I <laughs> uh, think what would a robot dog uh, do? And um, then not do that. <laughs> uh, really, I mean, that's not the only thing you've ever done, though, is it? No, uh... Deny on yourself? Oh, oh, geez, I totally forgot about that. That was a fat alien guy named Borby. Uh, but his, his lines can just consisted of like sitting in a bubble bath and going, Ooh, is this a bubble bath? Uh, he was very limited. Uh, there was another, uh, did some things. Actually, I did things for Cartoon Network that never uh, got made. They actually recast me after I did it. So, uh, yeah, sad. What was that? It was for uh, Megas XLR. Uh, yeah, it was like a little kid named Skippy or something like that, and uh, I, I didn't sound a little kid enough, so they actually got a little kid in the end, and uh, loved over me. Yeah, I tried to squish myself, to prepare for the role, I tried to compact myself into a box, uh, and uh, chop off my limbs, but... Uh, also, it was like phantasm. Yeah, it, was, it, it worked, actually. Um, and I'm a legend now. He's <laughs> uh, got his own. That's right. Uh, the same with Besa. Do you know you? Uh, you look it up on the internet. You maybe read the manga. I don't know. Do, do all the kinds of research that you can, and uh, and then you fly, and then you just fly with your pants, which is what we do mostly. You fly in your pants. Uh, sometimes. I know. I think you said you fly what's in your pants. I'm like that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> I fly in my pants. <laughs> That's like the literal Japanese translation you know, okay. that we have to say sometimes. Ride my wind, fly my pants. <laughs> so for you guys, you know, when you're recording your roles and things like that, you know, you've got to interact with the directors and things of the show. Uh, have you ever had a situation where it was just, you couldn't give the director what they were looking for? <laughs> well, that depends on the director. Um, sometimes, you know, that, I think sometimes, you know, it, it honestly depends on the director. Because some directors have a very, very, very specific idea of what they want. And they will have watched the show so specifically that they have the entire conversation mapped out and the highs and lows of that conversation, you know? It's like a composing a musical or something. <laughs> um, or a symphony, if you want to go that route. Um, but, but, uh, yeah, so sometimes, you know, you'll, you'll get in the booth and you'll do what you think is right and they'll redirect you and then you'll do that and then they'll redirect you and you'll do that and then they'll maybe try to give you a line read and you'll do that, but that's, that's not quite right. That's not quite what they're doing. And so you can get 50 takes in and it's still not what they want. And you're like, all I'm saying is yes, it's true. I don't understand how. Can you sense my frustration? <laughs> yeah, but most of the time it's, you know, you do a couple takes and you move on, so. 
Uh, yeah, especially if you can uh, suck as often as I can sometimes. It's particularly entertaining to see the director behind the soundproof glass, and they always have either a remote control or a button that allows them to talk to you in your headphones. <laughs> so when they're giving you notes, and they're like, Okay, so uh, let's do it again, this time um, better. Um, and then uh, when you get to like, you know, the seventh or eighth take, and they go, um, okay, uh, <clears throat> you're like, wow, we are getting near the red line. <laughs> Just sometimes. They take their hand off the button and then they lean over to the engineer and start like talking very animatedly to the engineer uh, and then press the button again and start talking to you. You're like, oh! You can only imagine what I like to do the conversations, yeah. yeah. For, what an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> I, I get that uh, uh, a lot in auditions um, that I don't get. <laughs> where I like, I had an audition where um, at Nickelodeon and uh, they asked me to. Uh, it was for, they didn't have a picture of the character. Um, it was for a show that a writer was designing. They were still looking for a, a, an illustrator to design this guy who was supposed to be a, a rat. Uh, who he said he said he's like he's like Beavis from Beavis and Butthead, but faster. <laughs> and uh, so I did it faster than I. No, no, slow down. <laughs> uh, so you know you. It, a lot, sometimes it's hard if the director doesn't know what they want. Because um, we're perfect. <laughs> perfect as we are. Well, sometimes it also seems like the director wants to step in and just do it for you. Yeah. Yeah. So sometimes we get line readings and they'll be like, no, like this. Like, I can't do that. I'm not you. Um, you cast me. You cast me. Yeah, hopefully for a good reason. So, you know, it, it's all about communication and making sure that they... Uh, but they tell you, and sometimes you've done 15 takes, and it's really frustrating, and you have to take a small break and go like, let's come back to this. So, so for you guys, um, for all the different projects that you worked on and things like that, if you could do your own project, if you could pick your own role, you know, anything that you've ever thought about, did favorite book, favorite movie, uh, if you could anything? Read anything, what would it be? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Possibilities. Right. Oh wow. Besides Twilight. Don't see that. Uh, <laughs> okay, I, I doubt any of you have read it. Have any of you read the series uh, by George R. R. Martin, Game of Thrones? Anybody? You did? I want to do that. I want to do that. I want to play Arya. And if you read it, go, you'll know what I'm talking about. And it's awesome. Or I want to do like an animated Princess Bride, and I want to play Buttercup. <laughs> Since they put a whole the musical, they were writing about Princess Bride. No! Yeah. Really? Yeah. You gotta be kidding me. Oh. Oh. I don't know. I, I was sad that I missed the whole Dragon Ball Z wave, because I would have loved to have been a Super Saiyan. <laughs> <laughs> Can't you hear it? <laughs> oh my I think I'm pretty intimidating. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> um, I actually spent the last year pitching shows to different studios. Um, what uh, we, I have my writing, my writing partner and, and my wife, uh, Tavisha, uh, we like have a little show idea that we've been trying to shop around. It was like we, we, we went to Disney and we went to Henson Studios and they liked it, but not enough to buy it. So I would like to do that show uh, if I could. Uh, it's got clowns from space in it, uh, but they're very cute. They're very sweet. They're very nice, um, and they're on adventures. Um, so something clowny and in space. <laughs> I think they did that with some clowns. No, these 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 are nicer. Uh, they have really nice outfits, actually. Yeah. They're very, yeah. <laughs> um. I'm a big graphic novel fan, so I would say like something like Deal Gaiman, maybe Sandman series, something like that. That would be cool to turn into an anime. Awesome. 